like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number seven is just asking us which number is the greatest. And you'll have an access to a scientific calculator on the CLEP. So my advice would just be to go ahead and use it on this problem uh, and just type in each of these and see which one's the biggest. That's really all there is to it. There's not, you don't have to do any algebra. You don't have to worry about understanding the exponent properties, although you could do that to solve it by hand. But when you have access to a calculator, you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage if you're not going to use it. So let's go ahead and use it. Um, so choice A says 2 to the power of 3 fifths. Notice how I'm just typing it in uh, exactly how, how it looks. Um, let's bring that parenthesis down. And so we get for choice A. Um, and now I'm using a TI-84 here. I know you're not allowed to use that specific model on the CLEP test because you can't use a graphing calculator. You don't really need a graphing calculator for this. We're just typing in exponents. Um, but I, the only reason I bring that up is because the way it's showing my answer here is as 1.4. Oops. Um, let me get off that window. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back here. There we go. 1.4 times 10 to the... Uh, 73rd power. Wow. So it's just really reporting the because the answer is so big, it's it's reporting the answer in scientific notation. That's what that e means is 10 to that power. So just uh, be aware of that uh, when you're when you're typing that in. Now, if you have a different calculator, it might display it a little differently. Um, but the one I'm using is displaying it like this. So the next one is two. Oh, we got some parentheses. Two cubed. To the fifth power, and that is going to be relatively a smaller number. So you know, I'm not even going going to worry. That's thirty-two thousand seven sixty-eight. Okay, so that's obviously not going to be our answer. Uh, let's do go on to the next one. Three to the power of two to the power of five. I mean, this should be a pretty big one. All right, but not quite as big as A. We got 1.85, or so we'll call it 1.9 times 10 to the 15th. Uh, for the next one, I think that A, I mean, that's going to be hard to beat. That is a large number. That's, uh, you know, something with 73, di or I guess 74 digits is uh, so it's a, kind of a ridiculously large number. So uh, choice D here. We've got three squared. Uh, oops, not sure what happened there. Three squared to the power of five. So we get fifty-nine thousand forty-nine. Uh, so that's definitely not going to be the answer. So last hope here is choice E, but I'm I I'm just looking at those numbers and I don't do not think this is going to beat A. So you can see there's not really much to this problem. I mean, I'm literally just typing these into the calculator and testing them. Yeah, this one's a little bigger than some of the other ones, but uh, let's see, what would this be? 1,000,000, what was it, 953,125. So our answer choice here, unequivocally, without doubt, is going to be choice A. So that's number seven. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.